Evening Bluetooth. So if you've seen previous videos, you'll see that I've been working on a 3D horror game made in RPG Maker. And since I put up those videos, I've had quite a lot of comments asking me how and why I've been doing it in that uh, engine. So today I want to answer the first of that question, which is the how. The other question I'll get to next time. Boom. Okay, so first things first, I'm using this plugin by Cutie Virus called MV3D. Um, you can find it very easily. I'll put a link in the description for this video for how I uh, got that. But basically, here's the documentation for it, and I'll put a link to that as well. Um, so first things first, I'm going to basically show you how this project looks with the plugin switched off. And of course, it's just a basic. looks awful, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you'll see why in a minute. Um, but yeah, so this is just to show you that this is RPG Maker running in its standard with the art thing switched off. Now, switching on the plugin and just going into the maps and note tags here, uh, this is how the, it works to achieve the foot 3D angle. So firstly, here's the notes. Um, you do an angle bracket of MV3D, and then in there we have camera. And these parameters, essentially, they give you a 90 degree viewing angle there. So we've got 90, uh, a distance of zero, which puts it literally on top of the player, and a height of one. Again, these are all like editable by, you know, however you want to do it. Uh, the ceiling bit there as well is... Um, it just creates the ceiling. So uh, reading through the documentation here, like there's a lot of different things that this can do. Um, but I'm going to show you a few little tricks that I've found myself and um, how I've been using them to create different camera angles and effects. Um, so that's the first one. That's how we create the, fir the, the actual you know, first person angle. And that's a default. Um, as long as we put that into the note tag for the map, the maps note tags um, in RPG Maker, then this is what we'll, uh, what it will do. Um, Yep, camera angle and the ceiling there. Next, I'm going to show you. Next, I'm going to show you these uh, the tags on this little creature here. This little weird, like squirmy, wormy thing. Scale uh, changes the scale of it. I done this because it essentially lets me get a higher resolution on the on the uh, on the thing. And then you've also got on this one um, the yaw, uh, which gives it an angle and the offset. Uh, the shape there actually is it, quite important as well. That creates different shapes. Um, wall creates a standing up, um, like sort of flat billboard type texture. Um, and here we go. This is how it all comes together. Uh, ignore the little foot table there because that's um, placeholder graphic. Uh, that's 90% of this is placeholder graphics, except for the little weird wormy guys not sure but i'll probably keep those in because i actually quite like the weird animation on those but yeah you can see like um they're different scales different shapes and sizes um different like angles okay so here's something else right so using a plugin command here you can alter the camera's pitch uh to 45 degrees i'll put for this one then it opens the save screen and then corrects the pitch back to 90 degrees so when we put that in um to the actual program, program. we'll see how this works. Uh, you activate that event and it pitches the camera downwards, calls the save screen, and then pitches back up again to 90 degrees. So that's uh, something I'm gonna use to basically show uh, using devices. Now here's another one, so uh, this one, CCTV view on, so it switches on the thing, and then you also see here another uh, thing which is basically the yaw, which is basically left and right panning of the camera. So you'll see how that activates. We activate the device that requires power to operate, so the switch needs to be on. So I'm going to basically just switch on that using the debug menu, and then this is with the thing. It switches pans left, pans right, and that's with a little delay of 120 frames, which um, is about uh, 10 seconds, no, uh, 5 seconds. But anyway, but that's not important. Um, here's another angle. You can see the camera pans left, pans right. Um, and one more scene. So this is basically done through map transfers. There's uh, an invisible text box at the bottom. Basically, it's a good text box with like no background and no text in it. Um, and that basically, it sort of like holds the event so that the player needs to push enter to move on to the next one. And pans F, pans right. So my idea there is that that's gonna be essentially like viewing for a CCTV um, camera. And that will be part of a puzzle in the game. Um, obviously, it's a long way to go, but um, I wanted to show that a few mechanics here are coming along as well as that. Um, there's a locked door there. Thank you very much. Hope for the next one. Okay.